Living in a concrete jungle affects on our health and lifestyles. And in fact, the young generation has a big gap in education on sustainable living practice in urban area. People who live in massive cities like Jakarta often don't know where their food comes from. This can lead to unhealthy choices, like eating foods grown with pesticides. That's why Future Green Thumb Leader wants to train the next generation in urban farming. Future Green Thumb Leaders is a program for provoking the urban youth, especially children, on considering of producing the healthy food. Through urban farming approach, we will solve the problem of farming in urban area. Future Green Thumb Leader brought urban farming classes to six schools in Jakarta. Over 160 students learned how to grow their own food and school gardens from planting to harvesting. Future Green Thumb Leaders program will continue in 2018 and they hope to expand to more schools. It is uncommon for lawyers to work pro bono in Vietnam, but there's many Vietnamese who could benefit from low-cost legal services. That's the inspiration behind Viet Youth Pro Bono. The project's main purpose is to give law students the skills and knowledge they need to do pro bono work after graduating. But Viet Youth Pro Bono's impact goes beyond the legal community. They also sponsored other social justice initiatives like their Rainbow Debate Project for high school students. The program was designed for high school students to learn more about the LGBT community and develop critical analytical thinking skills. Good food can make good people. The Youth Farm Network or Y Farm has a grand ambition. It wants to bring together organic farms from the five countries of the Mekong region. Right now, Y Farm works with seven farms in Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Myanmar, and focuses on youth in the communities. There are two meanings in our name. The first one is youth. We want to focus on the youth because youth, youth is a important, is a key uh, agent, like an agent of change. Youth can move the country. Youth can move our region. To date. Y Farm has trained over 250 youth participants on topics like soil protection, food and forest, and farm philosophy. We want to create the farm for the youth so that the youth can learn from the farm. The youth can have good food to eat and they can build the resilient, the healthier, and the more livable and more sustainable future for our Mekong region. Additionally, Y Farm used Y Silly Seeds funding to create an exchange program among the farms. Not only did participants get a deeper knowledge of farming practices in different countries, they also helped build closer ties between the farms. My dream for the Y Farm in the future is that I wish to see more and more young people across our macro region to join our network. I wish to see more farms in different parts of the country in the Mekong region so that we can build a food security base for our region. Thank you, Y
CV. Thank you very much, YCLC. Thank you, YCLC. Thank you, YCLC.